with me are my name is Python and welcome to a little mini bonus episode of my Minecraft survival let's play hopefully you guys have a fantastic day rather annoyingly episode 18 just went out and well what happens a brand new snapshot for the upcoming 1.15 release the first ever one has been released. So guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking plasma to some unexplored terrain and we are hopefully going to try our hand at finding some of the new stuffs. Now, a little bit of a spoiler alert. Bees. That is the single word I'm going to use for the spoiler. Bees. Guys, we're going to be going ahead and finding bees. Beehives, honey, all sorts of great stuff. It's going to be a fantastic time, guys. So if you're excited for this little mini-sode or bonus episode, then please do be sure to drop a like rating to show your support. But without further ado, I'm going to grab myself some various resources, bottles and whatnots, and shears apparently are something else we're going to need. And guys, we're going on a bit of an explore. Hey guys, check it out. There's a bee flying around. Okay, so yeah, there's a few bees flying around. The question is, where is the nest? We do have ourselves a plains biome here. All we have to do is try to locate the nest. Okay, let's have a little bit of a closer look at these guys. Uh, maybe it'll be a better idea if we do this during the day as well, so we're not horrifically killed. Uh, let's get this guy in the hole. Let's get out of it, and let's have a little bit of a look at this thing. So here we go. We've got the beehive looking very, very nice, very honey-ridden, or whatever you want to say. <laughs> so yeah, apparently, bee nests spawn naturally in flower forest plains and sunflower plains biomes. Uh, when a bee visits this block and completes its journey undisturbed, the level of honey increases. Okay, that's kind of cool. Bees use nests and hives to share flower locations with other bees. Okay, so they go towards all of these flowers here. Oh, there's a maker tiger over there. They use these flowers to, you know, pollinate. And then they take the pollen back to the hive, I would imagine. And then they do their stuff. So, right, can I do something with this? Uh-huh, maybe not at this particular moment. What about if I use shears on it? Okay, interesting stuff. Use a silk touch tool to get the block with the bees stored inside. Okay, cool. So I guess what we've got to do, really, is sort of observe what these guys do. <laughs> I like how they're just like flying blocks. That's kind of nice. Yeah, go, go do your thing. And then I guess we just wait for these guys to complete their journey and get back to the hive. Right? Interesting stuff. So, the reason why I've got a glass bottle is apparently you can use an empty glass bottle on a hive or nest that is full of honey to convert it into a bottle of honey. You can drink it and it will give you something. Okay, cool. And apparently with the shears, uh, you can go ahead and grab yourself a honey honeycomb. So, shear a full honey hive or nest to obtain. Hmm. Interesting stuff. And apparently, the actual nests are craftable. That's cool. Okay, so like I say, we'll just observe them for a bit and then hopefully there'll be some sort of indicator as to how full the hive is. Hey, so that guy just made a sound. I can only assume that it means that he filled up the honey a little bit. Hmm, there's no like visual indicator. Or, well, I don't know, to be honest, but apparently, according to the article, you can, in air quotes, calm down the bees by putting a campfire underneath the nest. So, apparently, campfire smoke calms bees. Place one underneath the nest slash hive to keep them in chill mode. All right, guys. So, also, according to the article, you can, in fact, breed the bees using flowers. So, let's give that a little bit of a go. There you go. And there you go. Let's see what happens. A little baby bee? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy is tiny. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's so cool. There's a little baby bee flying around. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much, guys. I love it. There's a little family of bees going around now. <laughs> ah. Okay, so this guy's got some pollen on him. Look, there's a slight texture change on the bee. Ah, okay. So I guess all we've got to do now is wait for him to get back to the hive and drop off the pollen. Oh! Okay, so we just popped in there and he did his job. Okay. So does that mean we've got one less bee or does he, like, come out eventually again? I don't think I noticed the texture change with that particular journey there. 
I don't know. Maybe upon the hive being full, maybe then there's a texture change. Alrighty, so all I've gone ahead and done here is placed a bunch of flowers near the hive. And what I'm hoping will happen is this may speed up the rate in which these guys gather pollen. Oh, that actually worked. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we still can't go ahead. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so if my counting is right, I'm pretty sure that's now four guys that have gone in here. Now, apparently five, level five is quite sticky. Hmm, max five levels of honey. Hmm, I guess let's see what this guy does. And then maybe that'll be enough? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. This guy looks like he's going for the flower quite nicely there. Okay, go on. Go on. Change texture. There you go. You did it. He did it. He done did it. Right, go on. you got to go inside your little thing now. Oh, the texture just changed. Okay, so... Uh, oh! What? There's the honey bottle. You can convert it into three sugar, or reportedly you could drink it for some sort of bonus. Shall we see what that bonus is? Shall we? Shall we do that? Let's drink it up. Whoa. Okay. Does that do anything? Huh? Drink it, question mark. What does it do? No sign of any uh, potion effects or anything like that. Maybe it just like instantly restores health? I don't really know. I had maximum health there, didn't I? Hmm. I don't think that was a very fair test, if I'm being honest with you. Maybe we try to drink it again uh, if we like take a little bit of damage or something. Interestingly, I have noticed that even the baby bees work as well. I think that's pretty awesome, to be honest with you. It means even the babies have got some sort of usage uh, in the game, which is really quite nice because otherwise, you know, when you, when you think about most baby mobs in the game, what can they do? Next to nothing, right? Baby villagers, you can't do anything with them really. Uh, you know, most other baby mobs, again, you can't really do much with them. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, I think it's kind of nice that baby bees do work as well. So, yeah. Okay, come on, come on. I'm waiting for this to be full again because I'm going to try the shears on it this time. And here's hoping that I'll be able to get some honeycomb from it or a honeycomb. I don't know. We'll find out in just a moment here. Yay, there we go. So it's upon the bee's exit that the texture actually changes. Okay, so this time we'll try the shears. Oh, that worked. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so we got three honeycomb from that. Okay, and apparently we've got ourselves some new recipe thingy me hickers to deal with. Ah, oh, there we go, my friends. A beehive. Okay, so that's how you make it. Awesome. Uh, so what can you do with this? I don't really know if I'm honest with you. <laughs> oh, it just appears to be a normal block. We do have silk touch, so I think we'll be able to pick it back up pretty easy, like. Uh-huh. Okay, well, this is something I imagine we'll get into, like, maybe in the actual series. But for now, we'll just pick it up and then uh, we can hopefully do something a little later down the line. For now, we are going to go to sleep. What is that guy doing? He's just, like, frozen in midair. What? What's up with this guy? He's literally just frozen. What? What? That's so weird. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Well, like I say, the final thing I want to do real quick is I want to give that honey one more go and maybe we can figure out what it does because there was no potion effect. I swear to God, there was no potion effect. Wait. Wait, is he angry with me? I think he's angry with me. Come on, mate. Forgive me. I just wanted some honey. I just wanted some honey, man. Everything's fine. I don't, I don't want to hurt you. I really don't. Bees are amazing. Like, even in real life, I never, like, hurt bees or anything. Ah, oh, that'll do. Right, drink. Okay. So, okay, so we've replenished a whole bunch of our hunger. And replenished some health, you know, in the normal regenerative fashion. Didn't give, like, instant health or anything like that. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe we'll have to figure that out once again in the actual LP itself. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, the final thing to do is actually pick this up. So if I do that and then boom, do that. Yeah, so we've got the bee nest and the campfire. So we can now take these back to our woodland mansion and we could potentially begin 
on some B-related epic stuffs. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was a quick look at the 1.15 snapshot with the bees, beehives, and uh, bee nests, and all that kind of stuff. If you guys have enjoyed this little mini bonus episode, then please do be sure to let me know with a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. If you haven't already, then check out my Minecraft Survival Let's Play, uh, where I just play through the game as it was intended to be, for fun. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are new around here, do consider subscribing, so you don't miss out on future Minecraft content. And finally, if you guys want me to do more little bonus episodes like this, uh, where we're just checking out some of the new features, then uh, let me know in the comments area below. In fact, better still, poll on screen. Do you guys want me to do some more things like this? Little bonus episodes, just checking out the uh, new content? Let me know with the poll on screen. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Like I say, drop a like rating if you enjoyed. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.